Very excited to welcome all of you to the kickoff of our City Lift Baltimore event. This has been something we've been planning now for some time and we're very excited. And I want to thank those who were able to be here this morning, our Honorable Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake, our very Honorable Congressman Elijah Cummings. Also, we have some of our folks here from the uh, NeighborWorks America, Eileen Fitzgerald, some of her team, also our Commissioner Paul Graziana, our Housing Commissioner of the City of Baltimore, and some of his team. I have to mention Ken Strong. He has been my partner working on this for the last several months and has just done a phenomenal job. So I'm not going to say much about City Lift. I know the mayor will, but this is certainly an, a great event. We're going to be able to provide the opportunity for 300 families to be able to experience their dream, and that is of buying a home here in the city of Baltimore. This program is not just about providing down payment assistance, but also sustainability through education. And we have a couple of homeowners here today who have already experienced the process, so you'll get to hear from them. But most important, it helps support the vitality of the city of Baltimore and our wonderful mayor's initiative to increase the family households in Baltimore City by 10,000 in 10 years. So we're so excited. This event filled up within two days, so it is by appointment only. We have over 500 appointments, and we're very excited to see individuals start coming through the doors at 10 o'clock. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce one of my favorite people, the Honorable Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake. Yay. Thank you very much, Andy, and good morning, everyone. Good morning. good morning. It is a great day in the city of Baltimore. I'm especially uh, glad to be here on opening day. Go O's. Uh, but it's, it's a great day for those who want to buy a home in Baltimore City. Uh, I knew that there, there, we couldn't have a housing event, an event where people were getting access to uh, mortgages and incentives without seeing our friend Congressman Elijah Cummings. I want to thank him for being here. He's been an incredible advocate. We can give him a hand. He's dedicated his life to improving our neighborhoods and creating opportunities for families. So I knew I would see him here. Uh, we mentioned before, I have a vision of growing Baltimore by 10,000 families in the next 10 years. And I know with partners like this and programs like this, it is an attainable goal. Uh, and particularly when we stay focused on the fundamentals, uh, better schools, safer streets, and stronger neighborhoods. A recent uh, census indicates that we are moving in the right direction finally. Uh, with a one-year growth of uh, over 1,100 people. And we know that Baltimore, know and believe in our hearts that Baltimore can get growing again. And we need to always be working on ways to make our communities more attractive to families and current residents, um, for, for more new families to come in, for current residents to stay. And for those who want to buy a home in our neighborhoods, we need to develop partnerships, meaningful partnerships, that make it easier for people to move into the home of their dreams. And that's why I am excited to join you to officially open the Baltimore Convention Center to Wells Fargo City Lift Program, an outstanding partnership of Wells Fargo Bank, NeighborWorks America, and Neighborhood Housing Services of Baltimore. The Wells Fargo City Lift Program is providing historically high down payment and closing cost assistance to 300 families. Thank you very much for helping me to achieve that goal. Who are buying homes. Thank you in Baltimore City and the Wells Fargo City Lift Program will help low and moderate income families become homeowners for the very first time. It'll help existing homeowners in Baltimore uh, City move up. And I say part of my growth strategy is a retention strategy, and this helps. You know, this uh, city lift program is, is a lift into Baltimore and a lift up in Baltimore. It also helps us attract uh, new homeowners uh, that, that want to make Baltimore home. Who wouldn't want to live in the city where the, the Super Bowl champs are and the future World Series champs are? Uh, so Baltimore is a unique city in which uh, Wells Fargo was uh, participating in this program. We got started early. Uh, we, we watched the city, how City Lift was implemented in other jurisdictions. We got uh, started early. We wanted to make sure uh, that for future partnerships, they saw how it was done. 
because they would see what we were doing here in Baltimore. Starting early, creating these meaningful partnerships, working to make sure uh, that, that uh, we had a process that was inclusive, that was transparent, that was, that was open and orderly and gave people a sense that, that we really wanted uh, to, to, to make these, these opportunities available. So as I said, we, have, we prepared well in advance. We have fully embraced the Wells Fargo Sig Lift program and hope that uh, many have an opportunity to in, embrace as we continue uh, with our neighborhood lift program. We, we appreciate the city lift team. Uh, everyone, I know I got to speak to some of the Wells Fargo uh, employees earlier, giving them a little pep talk and, a, and, and really just say thank you for all of their uh, hard work. I wanna thank uh, everyone on the city lift team for allowing the city, state, and the community uh, home ownership, uh, to give us home ownership opportunities through this program. The combination of layering, I talked a little bit with the Wells uh, Fargo uh, employees that, that it's not just this, uh, the lift program, but it's also people get to layer our vacancy to value incentives in some cases, the live near where you work incentives in some cases, and it's really creating a pathway uh, for, for some people who other than these programs would not have an opportunity. They have an income, but they need a boost. They need a lift. And this program really gives it. So I want to thank a number of people who helped uh, make this day possible. My housing commissioner, uh, Paul Graziano, for his work in collaboration with City Lift. I want to thank Ken Strong, who's here as well. I want to thank the State Department. Thank you very much, Bill, for being here to represent the state. Uh, we've been thanking you a lot, uh, the, the, the Governor O'Malley and Lieutenant Governor Brown and the state a lot for all that you're doing and helping us to stabilize our, our, our neighborhoods and to help us uh, be, continue to be poised for growth. So I'm thanking you now and I'm gonna thank you in advance for the work that we will continue to do. I want to thank Live Baltimore. Steve Gondel is here. Where is Steve? I know I saw you. There you are, Live Baltimore. You know, um, it, it, it's good when you have a good product, it's easy to sell, and it's good when you have a good salesman because Steve does a good job se uh, selling Baltimore uh, all across uh, the country, making sure that people know that, that if you want to live in a historic neighborhood, a unique neighborhood, that, that, you know, a, a, that a big city that has a small town feel, you can find it here in Baltimore. So I want to thank Steve for all he does, and I want to thank uh, healthy neighborhoods for embracing the program at the grassroots level. Um, who's here representing? We have, yes, thank you very much, Mr. Barnes, for being here to represent uh, healthy neighborhoods. And I especially want to thank um, Andy, uh, Wells Fargo Bank. You know, I said uh, Andy uh, Bertamini is my uh, cover guy. Uh, he, is, uh, he is on the cover of my Youth Works brochure because he is helping me <laughs> to uh, promote the, the notion of corp, uh, our, our local corporate partners being partners in developing the next generation workforce. And he has been a tremendous partner on so many levels when it comes to our, our efforts to end homelessness, to provide young people opportunities for employment, and in helping me to grow Baltimore. At every turn, uh, Andy is there, and I am so grateful for your partnership. And he can, and he can cut a rug if anybody's ever seen <laughs> He's got a few moves, I've seen them, I've been a witness. Uh, I also want to thank Ellen Fitzgerald, CEO of NeighborWorks America, and Dan Ellis, Director of Neighborhood Housing Services of Baltimore. This is a team that's on the front lines making this happen. Again, Baltimore is a wonderful place to call home, and I'm so proud that we're, we've developed a meaningful partnership to help make that happen. Thank you very much, and again, I want to thank our congressman, my congressman, for being here in support of this program. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Well, we can do better than that. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Tuan Mayor, it is indeed my honor and my privilege to be with you this morning. I am always excited um, to be with the mayor because she brings so much energy to the life of our city. Uh, it's very important to have a person who not only knows how to lead a team, but also have a vision for the team. And I said a few minutes ago when the mayor announced her 10,000 family uh, addition goal vision, um, you know, I said to myself, boy, that's, that's kind of bold. But that's what it's all about. That's what leadership is all about. I am convinced that this mayor 
is trying to create and is creating a legacy whereby after she leaves this office, people will be able to look back and say that she did a phenomenal job and she made a tremendous difference. Give our mayor a hand, please. I also want to thank the Neighborhood Housing Services of Baltimore and its Executive Director, Daniel Ellis, NeighborWorks America, and its CEO, Eileen Fitzgerald, and, and the team at Wells Fargo. Andy, I want to thank you. I want to thank Ken Trump. Ken, you've been in the vineyards for a very, very, very long time. And I'm sure that many times you've been frustrated, but at the same time, you keep marching, keep making a difference. And so we thank you so much. And to you, Mr. Graziano, I want to thank you. And our state folks, my, my buddy, thank you for being here. I want to thank all of the state folks because we've done a lot of work. My office has done a lot of work with the state people uh, with regard to keeping people in their houses. And so it's been, that's been really good. Let me, I'm going to be very brief. Uh, but as I, you know, I was looking at the sign over there and I, it says City Lift. And then I was listening to what the mayor was saying. And I think that if I were to uh, give a subtitle for the city lift program, Andy, I would call it, call it City Bridge. City Bridge. I tell my staff that there are times when $1,000 is worth a million. In other words, if there's somebody who wants to get a house, and they have a limited amount of money, if they just had a little bit of money to create a bridge to get to where they've got to go, then not only does it change their life for that week or that year, but it changes it for generations yet unborn. Thousand dollars. Same thing applies to a student at Morgan State who needs a scholarship. If he doesn't get the scholarship, thousand dollars can make a difference between whether he graduates from college or whether he uh, never graduates. And it'll affect him or her until they die. And so it's the same thing for this program. This is about taking the vision of a great mayor and helping to bring the resources to make it happen. See, it's one thing to dream. It's another thing to have the resources to make the dream come true. I've often said that, you know, and I got this from my mother. She said, you know, you can have motion, commotion, emotion, and no results. And I'm so glad that we have a mayor who is focused on results. I'm glad Wells Fargo is a part of this process, focused on results. Graziano, focus on results. We have to keep asking ourselves, what is the bottom line? Are we making a difference for people? Are we helping them move higher up the rungs of the ladder of life so the generational cycles are going up, 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 and not down, down, down? And so, this is a great program. To Wells Fargo, I want to thank you. And, uh, you know, I, I used to, Madam Mayor, I used to uh, spend a lot of time saying thank you. Now I say thank you, and then I say bring more. <laughs> bring more. Because there are so many people who, who are, are just reaching, and Ken, you know what I'm talking about. They're reaching out, they just cannot, they, they're trying to get just a little, a few resources so that they can get to where they've got to go. They promised their children that they're going to have a house by Christmas but they really don't know how they're going to get the money. This is a dream come true. And so, City Lift becomes City Bridge. And I want to take, thinking of, thinking of bridges, it's my pleasure now to introduce Eileen Fitzgerald, the CEO of Naval Works America, an organization that provides technical and financial assistance and training to over 3,000 community-based organizations and supports a national network of more than 235 affordable housing and community development organizations serving over 4,000 communities. But, but just before she comes up, Andy, you said something, and I think the mayor may have said it too. You know, not only must we get people in houses, and I know you know about this, Eileen, because this is what you're all about, we got to help them stay in the house. 
We gotta help them understand financial literacy. We gotta help them understand that maybe you don't buy that car that's very, very expensive. You need to concentrate on your mortgage payment and buy a used car. Or maybe there are certain things that you can do to make sure that you hold on to the money that you have. And so that's one of the things I love about our mayor too. She doesn't just concentrate on the results. She concentrates on making sure that we do not go backwards. And so, Eileen, I want to thank you and Neighbor Works for what you do. I want to thank you for constantly standing up for so many people who sadly, in many instances, don't know how to stand up for themselves. I want to thank Neighbor Works for when you work with people, treating them with dignity. That's what it's all about. You know, people just want to be treated with dignity. And you do that over and over again. And so, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Eileen Fitzgerald. Well, uh, this is a great day to be in Baltimore. And I, I think we are so blessed here with our leadership. Um, I will say, you know, Congressman Cummings has been supporting housing done right, home ownership done right, <clears throat> excuse me, for years and has been a, a leader in making sure we have support for foreclosure intervention, for making sure that families are treated properly. And you know, if we had more mayors like Mayor Rawlings Blake who cared about, you know, the the incredible infrastructure that housing and home ownership makes in a city and understanding that it's not enough to just focus on the homeowner, but we have to focus on the community and how those two things link, uh, we would be a much stronger country. So we are very privileged at NeighborWorks to be able to support NHS of Baltimore, to be here with our partner, Wells Fargo, to, to make this difference in Baltimore. And I know that you know this is just the start of so much that's good to come. Um, I did want to, since, since the congressman gave me this opening, I wanted to emphasize that um, part of this program is pre-purchase education and counseling. And it's so important that as families aspire to be homeowners and say, you know, I think that's going to make a big difference for, for my family, for my children, that they do it right and they do it in a way that they're going to be able to be in that home in the long run. And we know that part of that is making sure they have really good information up front that they look at their individual family budget and say, what can I actually afford? Because I know what my commuting costs or my childcare costs, costs are, or what I'm doing to help my aging parent. And that's what our staff, the staff of the NHS of Baltimore are doing here today, is starting that process of meeting with families. And that's what's so great about this partnership with Wells, is tying those two elements together. Let's give you some really generous uh, down payment assistance but no matter what, we all need to make sure we know uh, that that family knows that they can manage those payments. So we're really excited about that. Um, and uh, NeighborWorks recently released a study that we did uh, with Experian, which is a, you know, one of the credit monitoring uh, agencies, with their data that shows that homeowners who worked with NeighborWorks organizations, like the NHS of Baltimore, have one third less delinquency on their loans. So it is not just a better thing for that homeowner, it's a better thing for Wells Fargo because they're gonna have a better loan because somebody worked with the NHS of Baltimore. That's what we need to be doing and we need to be doing more of. So we're very excited. City Lift is building on a national initiative we have in 16 other cities. Um, and we have already assisted 22 homes 22,200 homeowners uh, nationwide um, and looking forward to building that number in Baltimore and seeing the incredible community stabilization, how it's going to both give homeowners a future and turn around these neighborhoods. Um, I wanted to particularly note the, the partnership here has been amazing as everyone said. Uh, you might take that for granted. It doesn't exist everywhere else. We've been in, literally in cities in many states, and this is a unique partnership. So Paul and Ken, thank you so much for all your leadership and your willingness and the, and the mayor's initiative to have so many different programs we can leverage, uh, which will, again, help even more people. Um, so we are very pleased uh, to be part of this, and I'm now going to turn it over to Dan Ellis, the executive director of the NHS of Baltimore. 
Thank you very much, Eileen. NHS is a real proud partner in this, in this partnership that you've been hearing about. I want to thank Andy and his team at Wells Fargo. You haven't just provided the resources to make CityLift possible, but you've also provided a true partner who comes alongside and figures out how to solve problems and how to make things work. And that's not the same thing. It takes both to make a successful program, and your team has been instrumental in that success, so thank you. I want to thank Mayor Rawlings Blake. As Eileen just highlighted for us, I've talked to a number of organizations where they've done city lift around the country, and they're often struggling. And in those struggles, we talk about what it is that's working in Baltimore and what are the differences. And one of the main differences that we highlight is the partnership with the city and the partnership with our elected officials. That's something that doesn't happen everywhere. And the priority of housing and creating home ownership opportunities in Baltimore that has been a priority for you and for your team and your administration has really helped make success for this program. So thank you. And to the congressman for your support, we really thank you for that. Because without your leadership and without the leadership of our great mayor, we're not going to be here today in the same place that we are. So thank you both. And to NeighborWorks America and to Eileen and your team, they've been great in providing all the infrastructure and the support that's needed to run a program of this size and magnitude. So thank you to you and to your team, who have been a real pleasure to work with. City Lift of Baltimore exemplifies the values of NHS and the values of all of the partners who are sharing together to create tools to make homeownership available. I have the privilege today of actually introducing some homeowners who have benefited from the City Lift program. This is the fun part of, of, the, of what we do. So I'm going to ask two of our, our City Lift residents who have already moved into their homes to come forward. Kara Anderson, who, who works here in Baltimore for the United Way, and recently moved into our home in, in Patterson Park. And uh, we're, we're really excited to have you here. And, and you're doing some work on the home through the 203K program. And, and this is part of what the City Lift program is all about. It's creating opportunities, improving the housing stock, and creating opportunities for you and for your family. And I want to introduce Scott, Scott Culler, who has recently moved. He relocated to Baltimore. And Scott, we want to thank you for choosing Baltimore as your home, because we think it's, it's, it's a great city to live in and has great resources. And you all are the reason that all these people are here and all of this effort. It's for you and for the 300 people who are able to call Baltimore home. And so thank you both for coming today and for sharing in this with us. And, and welcome to Baltimore. Thank you. We're glad to have you here. And we're really proud to have you as partners. And I'm, I'm now, I get the privilege of, of inviting up our partners to actually cut the ribbon for this. Three, two, two one. one. Hold the ribbon, hold your end of ribbon, good, ready, look at me please, ready.